Hey, curator, look at the text on my screen and get Josh the answer to his question and send it to him in an email to josh at visor.com. I've drafted an email to Josh with the answer to his question. This is Curator, an AI agent we've been working on for the past year. Not the kind of agent that goes off and does tasks for you on its own, but the type of AI computer using agent that comes alongside the tasks that you're already getting done and helps you get it done faster. Hey, Curator, add another virtual screen. A new virtual screen has been added successfully. If nice. you need anything else, just let me know. Hey, Curator. Make my virtual screen portrait. Your virtual screen has been set to portrait mode. Hey, curator. Look at the email on my screen and summarize an email's response because I don't feel like reading all of it. I've summarized the email response and sent it to Josh. We've built one of the top spatial computing apps on the MetaQuest store called Immerse it gives you multiple virtual screens. We've also built Visor, which is 4K per eye, but only six ounces. It's a headset that's focused on work productivity. You don't need those in order to use Curator. You could just use Curator directly on your laptop. But if you did use those, Curator can also take action in the headset. Curator can observe everything you're doing on your laptop, listen to your meetings, take notes, but you could also exclude it from things you don't want to be able to see. It could take very basic actions as well today, as we'll demonstrate, but the goal is to do much more complex actions in the future. The goal is for this to become the first versions of Iron Man's Jarvis actually running on a computer to make you a lot more productive. Our vision is to build the next generation of computing that infuses spatial computing with AI. Hey, curator, create a calendar invite for a one-on-one -on -one with Josh tomorrow morning central time and add josh at visor.com and put in the description the things that we need to cover. I've created the calendar invite for your one-on-one -on -one with Josh tomorrow morning, central time. <laughs> awesome. If you need anything else, just let me know. Good job. Curator. Open Spotify. I've opened Spotify for you. Enjoy your music. One thing that's really cool is because I don't have the Spotify app on my computer, it actually went to Spotify's online web player. I can even search Spotify. Check this out. Hey, curator. Search Spotify for Taylor Swift. I've searched for Taylor Swift on Spotify. Hey, curator. Search Google for flights to San Francisco tomorrow. I've searched for flights to San Francisco for tomorrow. Hey, curator. Open up YouTube and search for Mr. Beast's most recent video. I've opened YouTube and searched for <laughs> Mr. Beast's most recent video. Hey, curator. Search for Michael Dell's LinkedIn profile. I've searched for Michael Dell's LinkedIn profile. Hey, curator. Look at the buggy code on my screen and give me the answer to how to fix it. The issue in the code is that it attempts to divide by zero, which raises a zero division error. To fix this, you can add a check to ensure the divisor B is not zero before performing the division. Here's the corrected code. Python def divide numbers A, B. If B equals equals zero, return error. Division Thank you. by zero is not allowed. Return <laughs> you don't got to read it all out. 